Welcome back to Modern Garage Barbecue. Today we're doing some Baltimore style pit beef on the El Chao Rotisserie. I'm gonna show you how to take a bottom round. We're gonna make up an awesome rub to go on it. We'll toss it on the El Chao. We're also gonna make up a tiger sauce to go on it because we're gonna take it when we're done. We're gonna slice it real thin and make a sandwich and we're gonna pile it real high. You ready to do this? Let's go. All right, let's get our rub toss together we're using on our beef there. Two tablespoons kosher salt, two tablespoons of black pepper, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of cayenne. I got one teaspoon of rosemary that I ground up a little bit with my fingers to break it up a little bit. One tablespoon of ground coffee, and also two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. When you get it all in the shaker, mix it up, hit it up on our beef. All right, let's get our beef going. We got three and a half pounds of bottom rounds. You can use top rounds. Get a little bit of fat there. I'm leaving it there. Just gonna hit it up with some sangs. Hit it all over that. And we'll come back with our rub that we threw in the shaker. Hit it up real good. Tap it in. Don't be shy. Hit every side. All right, right now we need to get our three prong skewer from the El Charo. I'm going with the smaller side here, out. So we get this in the middle here. And try to push it all together. Just like that. Let's get that El Charo going. All right, we got the El Charo set up. I got a two-third hotel pan on the bottom there with a chimney full of lump charcoal. We're riding on the Weber grill. We got a hunk of beef ready to go. I'm gonna start it off down on the bottom here. Let's toss it in. And hit the pedal and go. We're gonna let that spin for a little while. We'll be back to check on it. All right, let's make up some tiger sauce. I'm gonna go with the, some mayonnaise here. Maybe half a cup, a little more. Prepared horseradish. A couple tablespoons. A little bit of lime juice. A little bit of fine sea salt. Some fresh black pepper. Let me grab some cayenne too. I'm gonna throw a little cayenne in here. Why not? A little hit of cayenne. I got one clove of garlic, minced up. Let's just give this a stir. Give that a taste. Perfect right there. That's what you got. We'll be hitting it on top of our sandwich. All right, we're probably about 40 minutes in. We are looking good. Got some sizzling going on there. Been adding a couple of chunks of lump down there and add a couple pieces of pecan off to the side. They'll smoke for a little while, then they'll burn up. And there you go. We'll bring you back. All 
on our way back. It's been about an hour and a half. Let's do a quick temp check. Thirty-seven ish. We're gonna pull it. We're gonna wrap this up. You can see it dripping. And we'll bring it back when we slice it up. We'll be back. All right, let's get slicing. We've been letting uh, beef sit for about an hour or so. Get it up on the slicer here. Turn around. Let's see what we got. Thinner. We'll get more red towards the middle probably. Not too bad. We saw the juices that it came in, we'll be dunking it in it. See if we can go a little bit thinner. Oh yeah. Right about there is what we're looking at. Apart, pull apart. See how we get nice and red in the middle now. Let me get this finished up. All right, let's toss a quick sandwich together. We got a Kaiser roll. We got our beef. Look at that. Took a little bit of this one and the juices that we had left there. Right on there. Looking pretty good, right? Slid it up some shade white onions. Shade them real thin. And we'll come back with our tiger sauce that we made up. Hit it all over the top of that bun now. Just like that. And lit it. There you go. That's my version of a Baltimore style pit beef sandwich. Let me bring it down, we'll take a taste. All right, let's get a taste of this bad boy. Look at that. That right there is what it's about. That tega sauce comes packing through. The flavor of that beef, spot on. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.